You know, mm -hmm. there, there's so many big news stories that sometimes the news bursts its banks and has to be sluiced into our segment of news runoff that I call... Meanwhile, great news for karate masters and ninja turtles, because on Friday, a federal court ruled New York's nunchucks ban is unconstitutional. Thank God. <laughs> I've been walking around completely defenseless. <laughs> Plus, it's been so much more dangerous with people whipping around two guns attached by a chain. <laughs> this is great. Mm -hmm. Nunchucks mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. no longer banned. Also, nunchucks were banned? <laughs> Yes, this is true. Back in 1974, nunchucks were outlawed in New York out of concern over the rising popularity of kung fu movies. Back then, everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kicks were fast as lightning. And I'll be honest, it's a little bit frightening. The legal challenge... The legal challenge to the ban was brought by a professor who filed a complaint after being charged with possession of nunchucks. <laughs> who... Why would you complain about that? <laughs> possession of nunchucks is the coolest thing you can be charged with. <laughs> it's like getting upset about being charged with wearing sunglasses to prom or reckless driving while having a threesome. <laughs> professor Nunchucks argued that the weapon has a long and proud history in martial arts with recreational, therapeutic and self-defense utility. I actually went to a nunchuck therapist once. He just blamed all my problems on my dad's nunchucks. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> a human heart was left on a Southwest flight. <laughs> what a terrifying experience. That heart had to fly Southwest. <laughs> it seems, apparently... The heart was mistakenly kept on the connecting flight instead of being taken out of the cargo hold in Seattle, causing the Dallas-bound flight to turn around. Well, at least you know that human heart was safe in the cargo hold where they keep all the anxious, hungry dogs. <laughs> but don't worry, no one was harmed because investigators found that the heart had no intended recipient. Does it need one? Why can't a heart just go to Seattle? Maybe you wanted to see the Space Needle or go to the original Starbucks. Sure, it's just like any other Starbucks, but the heart wants what it wants. <laughs> meanwhile... <laughs> meanwhile, fans. People love Meanwhile. America loves Meanwhile. Meanwhile, bad news for former Trump advisor and evil warlock who has come to our dimension looking for something called the Frost Amulet. <laughs> Roger Stone. Stone recently settled a lawsuit in which he was accused of spreading false information on Infowars. Hold the phone. You can get in trouble for lying on Infowars? <laughs> That's like getting kicked off of Pornhub message boards for using foul language. <laughs> you have brought shame to the MILF chaser community. I cast thee out, Mama Booty Fan 42. <laughs> and, in addition, in addition... <laughs> woo! <laughs> A lot of Mama Booty fans out here tonight. <laughs> in addition to this civil lawsuit, Stone is also awaiting indictment by Robert Mueller, which raises the question, how does he pay all his legal bills? Duh. Obviously, by selling autograph rocks on Instagram. <laughs> Roger Stones, get it? <laughs> because they're both cold, unfeeling lumps that you'd enjoy throwing in a river. <laughs> and these aren't just any... Old, these aren't just any old soiled rocks. According to the description, this is an exact replica of the stone that David used to take down Goliath. <laughs> yes, it's true. Wow. The exact same rock. Wow. We all know what happened there. Goliath chose scissors. <laughs> we'll be right back.